another episode ready to go They're gonna talk about the good and the trash and anything in between Cherishing they believe get ready for Halloween It's the horror show I know you miss those guys Tune in and find out what's on their list tonight They butcher and dissect Take apart and mutilate Listen to your two favorite brainiacs communicate It's the horror show Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Horror Show, the show that dissects, mutilates, dismembers, and butchers all of your favorite and not-so-favorite horror movies and other horror-related events. I'm Sean. I'm Joe. Hello, Joe. What's going on? Nothing. Happy anniversary to Joe. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, we're skipping our uh, Patreon bonus this week. We've got a big one next week. We're doing The Thing. Uh, we were supposed to do it tonight, but... Joe has an anniversary to celebrate. So we're just doing a regular episode and those Patreon people will get a special full episode next week on uh, the the original thing. Yeah. The thing. What made you uh, decide that? So, um, you know, I recently had uh, put together all the old Patreon pick lists and all of the um, emails we get. Um, suggesting movies, and the thing is just far and away the most requested movie uh, to really? talk about. Yeah, it's crazy. That's and crazy because you know it's it's good. <laughs> it is. It is. But as we we're learning, and I think it's this is also what lent me to choose it was we've recently done some good movies, and uh, it turns out you can actually talk about them and and have a good time talking about them, and people like to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. So I was well, like, that's a good sign oh. because we're we're about to do scream, right? So I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. However, uh, flip of that coin, we're doing a movie today that is so hard to find and so fucking shitty. Uh, but yeah, I mean, shitty in huge, production value. Huge disagree. Okay, all right, shitty in production. I, can <laughs> I mean, Joe, the last half of the movie is like, actually in. <laughs> It's the it's a black screen for the majority of the last forty five minutes. I think I had said that because I, I I had seen it before, and it's one of those movies where I swore I did it for the show. Yeah, because you know on Letterbox you can see when you rate something, and I, mm. I rated it during our first run. So why the fuck did I watch this if we weren't going to talk about it? Like I, I don't understand my motivation behind that. <laughs> but but my biggest memory aside from the opening scene was like there there were some. <laughs> There were some scenes where I, you, you couldn't tell what was happening. You just heard grunts. You just heard fucking Body by Jake doing that fucking laugh. And it was just, it's pitch fucking black. It's pitch black. It's so. Uh, do we do we say the title? It's Home Sweet Home. We're doing Home Sweet Home. Not the one with Robert Downey Jr. Uh, no, no. No, and not Home Sweet Home Alone, which is the new Home Alone movie. It's not that either. This is, but that Robert Downey Jr. movie is. Uh, it's also a Thanksgiving one. Also Thanksgiving. It, it is. It is. And Home Sweet Home, nineteen eighty one. Uh, it, it's tough to find. You could get a copy of it though on uh, the YouTube. You can find it there if you want to watch along. Uh, I I do. W okay, would you recommend it? Would you recommend people watch all day, it? all fucking day? <laughs> I completely agree. Uh this is a movie you're not going to you're not going to regret it, you know. Yeah. It's I mean if you're going in looking for a great movie, a la the thing, uh don't 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 do that. Just stop right there. <laughs> it is so fun. It's so fun. It's, it's short. It has absurd side characters. <laughs> you know, it's it's a lot All right. Uh actually I, I had something here. Yeah. Um, some reviewer said, this film has heart. Sure. It's kind of a mindless and confused heart, but the acting is decent and there's a real feeling that the filmmakers were shooting for something. I completely agree. Yeah. Like, it sucks, but they tried, man. And you can tell. And Body by Jake, the, the main villain. Yeah. He should have been the bad guy in every film ever. <laughs> he's fucking awesome. <laughs> Dude, that fucking face that he makes, he's not <laughs> acting. He just, he just when I say that for those who haven't seen the movie, he just has a stupid fucking face. <laughs> and like when he shows his teeth, <laughs> he looks like such an idiot and it's perfect for like a killer. My my understanding is he he uh he is not a fan of this movie and he does not like it being brought up to him. <laughs> 
he prefers to pretend this doesn't exist, which is weird because his acting credits are pretty limited. Uh, he, like w- without this, like he doesn't have a lot to his name. Um, and this yeah, was his biggest uh, role. He trained. He trained Indiana Jones. Or he trained Harrison Ford yes. for Indiana Jones. Yeah, his big. Well, yeah, this was like his big debut. <laughs> this was his big debut. His 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 uh his claim to fame before this was that he made um Steven Spielberg throw up from working out which like people say that like that's like shocking are you kidding me like look at Steven Spielberg that guy hasn't worked out a fucking day in his life that that's very true and also why was Spiel, why was Spielberg working out I don't I don't know I don't fucking, know. fucking hard out <laughs> You get a grip, you like, like, You haven't worked out your entire life. You're starting now to direct <laughs> Indiana Jones. Like, and with Body by Jake, who I do not remember him being this fucking massive. I that was huge, shocking. Yeah. He is humongous in this. He's fucking juiced up, baby. He's still out there doing his thing too to this day. Yeah, good yeah. for him. Um. So I I'm, I am excited to talk about this. I'd never seen it before. Vanessa Shaw is in this movie. It's her film debut. First, she, yeah. She'll go on to be Allison in Hocus Pocus, which is kind of yes. nuts, and have just a, a career outside of that also. Yeah. Now I don't know a lot Our about buddy, Hocus, um, Hocus. She's the main one, right? She's the main. Uh, she she she's no no no. The main girl's uh like Thora Birch and her brother, oh. but she's uh she's the girlfriend in the movie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Um, I was gonna say, um, our buddy Devin, Redneck Stomp, <laughs> he has a letterbox review, which, which you know, of course, it's negative. Um, <laughs> if you know Devin, but it says things, <laughs> things entitled "Home Sweet Home" that blow ranked the 1981 film <laughs> and the 1985 song by Motley Crue. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the, the, (laughs) I saw some reviews, dude, I was like in a rabbit hole of the reviews for this movie and they were so, they were so weird. People are just bizarre. I saw a review that was negative and it was like, it's, it's pretty good, but their issue was with them. Like was with this character steak. Who's (laughs) it's a nickname for mistake. (laughs) Um, which is uh, honestly fucking hilarious. But the, this is before I watched it, and the review was kind of like th- they make fun of this poor guy steak the entire time. Like it was kind of like, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like is this guy like? <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a little like maybe insensitive or politically incorrect in some. There has way. never been a character that deserved to be made fun of. A hundred percent. That is exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> that guy. And, and by the way. Don't worry, his entire fucking family hates his guts. <laughs> and, and rightfully so, because this kid is so fucking annoying. He's the biggest annoying piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. I wanted to Dude, fucking his, kill him. His death was honestly not satisfying enough. No, so no. Annoying. He's more of a villain than fucking Body by Jake. I, I agree. I, dude, he's a fucking man walking in on people having sex and just shredding guitar in their face. <laughs> and like playing like actual like like actual like licks like not even just like 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 playing like fucking ballads like but also also managing to do that with unless i'm mistaken because it is hard to see sometimes he never has an amplifier with him like he's just running around shredding I, he, the only time the amplifier's with him is when he fucking dies i well no it's on the backpack isn't it Oh, it's a portable one? I think that's what it's supposed to be, which, by the way, I don't think that was a thing in 81, but, <laughs> like, they, they didn't, we, we couldn't even have, we didn't even have, like, normal size batteries back then. Like, it's, it's fucking ludicrous to think, but I think that's what we're supposed to believe, is that this guy okay, has a portable right. amp in his backpack, so he could walk around. Because there's times where he's, like, on that, on that fountain where he's just running around, and it's like, <laughs> How are you getting that that sound? <laughs> yeah, and so if you haven't picked up, guys, this is an electric guitar that he is playing in people's faces while they're trying to fuck. And he's like, oh, look like I interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Charles did the Paul ones. But. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's using like real chord progressions. It's fucking insane. He's like playing music. It's it's not he's even a, like... He's, he, <laughs> He's a black metal icon. He's in full corpse paint. <laughs> That's true. He is. He he, he looks oh. like he plays power metal, though. 
Well, he doesn't look like he looks like he plays black metal, but he's playing power metal. <laughs> well, it, it, he has he has the most. That's the other thing about this movie that they like clearly dubbed over the voices. And like okay. this guy, his voice does not fit him at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's honestly like like a trauma esque, like toxic Avenger esque. It is. It totally fucking is. Did you look up that actor that played? This no, thing? I did not. So he's in a Wonder Woman episode, and it appears that he's playing the same character. Get the he's fuck out! Dude, he's in the all white face paint. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking honestly incredible. That's honestly fucking incredible. Why is my fucking watch making noises? Um, Peter Peter De Paula is his name. That's fucking awesome. Uh, he he's annoying as fuck, and. Uh, my favorite scene in the movie is when the entire family's just sitting around deciding that they want to fucking murder him. It's, <laughs> I was, they were just all, they either want to murder him or they want to murder themselves. And it's all because, all because of steak. <laughs> it's all because of him. There's multiple scenes where he's like, I'm going to fucking blow my brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> You know, I mean, all these people in this movie have, they're like, they seem to be so out of touch with reality because there are times where they find actual corpses and they're just <laughs> like, oh man, this person kicked the bucket. And then like the, the other person that they're telling it to, their reaction is like, well, if there's a madman on the loose, they might come after us. Like, yeah, of course, of course they are. <laughs> there's a fucking dead body in the next room. Like, get out of there. What, <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. I actually watched the thing last night um, and... Uh, <laughs> I going from the thing last night to home sweet home first thing this morning <laughs> was such a was such an alarming fucking juxtaposition. It was crazy because uh, I have a lot to say about the thing actually, uh, it, mainly because of how effective, like how efficient it is. Right? It's like super efficient um, yeah. at telling a story. This is. This is actually, this is a, I would say this is a pretty efficient movie. I think it was like an hour 25 and, uh, it was, they yeah. don't waste your time, like trying to over explain <laughs> body by Jake and that's fine. I don't, we no, dude, we're dude, better for it under, <laughs> dude, they under explain it because, uh, <laughs> we know who he is because of a radio like blurb, yeah. you know, that explains that he's escaped. And we also know that he's a PCP addict because he does it once in that car. <laughs> <laughs> which he, um, he injects it into his tongue, which I don't think is how you take PCP. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Do you, <laughs> how to take PCP. Let's take a look on the, the old Google. I mean, I, I'm telling you, you don't inject, you don't inject anything. Into no. <laughs> That's very true. I don't know why I'm looking this up. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. So, the plot is, you know, um, Big Body by Jake, who goes by Jay Jones in the movie, also credited as just Killer, not Jay Jones, just the name Killer. Um, He's also Haley, uh, Haley Stanfield's uncle in real life. Fun little, fun little Body by Jake tidbit. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> she's out there. She she was in uh, the True Grit remake. She's she's the main girl. Oh, look at her. Well, um, fucking nepotism. Nepotism at its finest. <laughs> There's I'm, no I'm way. Just... She pro- pro- probably denies being related to him at all costs. Oh wait, she's the new Hawkeye girl. Oh yeah, that's probably what I should have gone for. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> what? A, what? <laughs> <laughs> a 2010 remake of a True Grit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good old True Grit girl. Uh, <laughs> 12 years ago. Uh, remember her? <laughs> Instead of the show everyone has seen. Uh, <laughs> came out this week. <laughs> That's cool. Good for her. Good for her. I, I, I started watching that movie mm, or show. It's, you know. Oh, Hawkeye? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't peeped it yet. Jeremy Renner's face is just something to behold. It's fucking awful. All right. Listen, let's talk about Home Sweet Home, though. Um, The movie pops off with, (laughs) like, okay, so here's, here's the thing. If you do decide to watch this, you will know within the first minutes that whether or not you're going to like it or not, because it's just the tone. The tone is set from that minute, because you 
open up with this guy that sounds like Hank the Angry Drunk Dwarf sitting in his car drinking a beer for some reason. Uh, and Body by Jake just shows up and fucking murders him. <laughs> uh, then he gets in the car, and that's when we hear the radio explain the whole movie to us. <laughs> That Jay Jones has escaped from a psychiatric hospital. He was there because he bludgeoned his parents to death. He escaped. He killed a guard. And he is addicted to PCP and to watch Dude, it. Giving, giving that much information on, on the radio is so funny. <laughs> it's nuts. But also, like, let's talk about, like, let's go back to our Halloween Kills episode where they were like, who knows who these missing convicts are? <laughs> like... You know, da- you the hospital has a fucking file on who is missing and who is... Uh, you know what I mean? Like, they should give out all of that information. <laughs> yes, for sure. Um, and they do here. Um, thankfully, a better prison system in 1981 in this town than uh, Haddonfield in 2021. <laughs> so. Jake also has Home Sweet Home tattooed on his hand. Which is the fucking dumbest thing. <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. I don't, I, so, cause, and Joe points it out because it zooms into his fucking hand to open it. So you're like, oh, is that the title card? Like, cause it kind of freeze frames a little bit, right? Like it, it definitely holds on the shot of his hand. It says home yeah, sweet home. Sure. And you're like, oh, that's the title card. Mm, it's not because we get a, uh, a, uh, uh, insanely long opening credit sequence um, of Jake just driving around, like screaming and laughing, Dri- driving, driving in real time dude, th- it, down the highway. <laughs> there's a few scenes in this movie that are real time moments, including when the, the police officers pull them over. I've never actually, <laughs> <laughs> it was actually shocking how long that scene was. Uh, but then we get another title card that says home so, sweet home after that, but. That, that first kill, when he shows up, yeah. he, he's just screaming and making those noises. It's insane. I love it. And then, like you said, he drives for a while. But before that next title scene shows up, he runs over a lady. And it it all comes back to all, that Austin Power scene because it happens again. This lady's in the crosswalk. Jake is driving. <laughs> he's at least like a half a mile down the road because she's just standing there dropping her groceries and screaming and he's just cackling. And again, we're watching him in real time. Just keep, she could have gone either side. She could have ran. She could have walked. She could have just stepped out of the way. Jake does not swerve. He just keeps driving straight and just plows her right over. Uh, I loved that scene. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> um, kills her. And then uh, just a splash of it's great because he hits her and then it, she's gone. And then it cuts to his face outside the car. And then you just see somebody clearly throw like a bucket of red paint onto the car, and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> "Never seen a more delayed uh, blood splatter in my life." <laughs> After running someone over, <laughs> uh, fucking ridiculous. Um, so yeah, so and then you get the title cards finally. So, um. After that, we meet a couple here that. Uh, they're going to visit some friends or are they family? I this is something I could not figure <laughs> figure out for the life of me. Okay. So great question. Um I don't know the relations of any of these people. <laughs> they so I looked on like I looked and they they seem to like all have the same fucking last name like in the in the it's so weird but then later on like one of the girls is like oh hey uh did you like did you like how did you meet these crazy people and he's like uh i needed roommates and i was like what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck does that mean <laughs> yeah dude I, I like i even said to tina when we were watching it, like i i've seen this movie before and i can't piece together like their relations and it's also, because they're all on this ranch, they're all on the same ranch, and right. it, like you said, they, they mentioned that about the roommates. But like, there's multiple scenes where it's as if they're meeting each other for the first time. Yes, yes, and like, but then like, uh, and like, they're also like, I don't know. It's so bizarre to try and comprehend some of this stuff because like, there's like a little girl that just ran- randomly shows up. <laughs> 
and is constantly being lost and forgotten about, which is like my favorite thing about the movie. <laughs> I've never seen a character because it's so funny because they all have the same reaction I do, which is like, oh, shit, remember that little girl? And it's like, <laughs> it's somebody's family member there, I, I hope, but <laughs> we, we never like fully catch on to what that is. But we do know that steak is one of is, That's Harold's daughter. Harold's daughter is the little girl. Okay. <laughs> and wait, wait. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So mistake is is her brother. That's so fucking weird. Because remember they have that scene where she's like, "Do you love me more than your guitar?" I was like, "I hope, I hope he's her brother." <laughs> she's like, "Oh yeah, baby." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking weird. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. So, well. So st- some of them are related, some of them aren't. We'll f- we'll figure it out. There's a, also like a a, a a Spanish woman that that sings who, dude, <laughs> her playing the guitar was honestly more annoying than than Jake or not Jake mistake. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. And you know what else about that little girl? I thought that she would be like I thought they introduced her kind of as like the uh, Frankenstein effect. Like she would she would either like befriend him or you know be the hero. She doesn't really do anything. And, and, like, her heroic moment is just flagging down police officers on the side of the road. That's so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> this movie is so fucking weird. Um, it's so fucking weird. All right. So, we meet the first couple, right? They're coming to visit whoever whoever these people are. Um, they start having sex in the car as soon as they get there. Uh, in the, one of the most bizarre fashion ever, ever there, the guy's feet are, it's like a convertible. His feet are on top of like the car door with the window down. Right. So his feet, (laughs) he's got like this, he's at like an angle. It's like a decline, (laughs) decline missionary. If I had to put a name on (laughs) name on it, um, fucking bizarre. It looks like he's never had sex in his life. Uh, (laughs) And like the the dirty talk that these two have is so ridiculous because his dirty talk is like, oh yeah, you're so horny, aren't you? <laughs> so fucking bizarre. Is this the grossest of the the two like sex scenes we get in the beginning? Is this the grossest? Yeah, like because the dude with the mustache is way grosser. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. dude. <laughs> he's he's sl- there. Whoever he's with, they are slow kissing, and it's just zoomed in on. <laughs> it's so repulsive. I mean, we you know have what to- I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, we have to watch that for so fucking long. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's that's Harold, right? The one with the mustache. Yes, correct. All right, all right. So, <laughs> so mistake is interrupting his own dad from getting laid. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. Okay, and 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 th- so I thought that that was his mom, but I mean it could not be. It might not be. I don't know. Um, regardless, it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Imagine doing that to your dad. What a fucking d- disaster! It's so fucking weird. Um, it's so fucking weird. So, so, so we meet we meet those two. Then we meet. Steak, who Steak Bradley, which stands for Mistake, <laughs> which is the funniest name, as I've already said. And he shows up while they're fucking and just starts wailing guitar chords in their face. Is just and the, of course the guy gets up, he gets pissed. They start running around, and while they're running, while he's chasing Steak, then what you're saying, the parents fucking is happening. And we get about a thousand cutscenes to them, like, and again, they're not even like fucking; they're making out and like, no, they're not even making out. He's just like sucking on her upper lip for six minutes. <laughs> it's so fucking <laughs> sucking on her upper lip. It's so fucking weird. It's so weird. Uh, and we just watch that for a thousand cutscenes while these two ju- these two idiots just yeah. run around the house, fucking maniacs. And then, yeah, like you said, fucking. Steak runs in and is like, basically like, hubba hubba, and starts playing guitar in their faces. <laughs> Where the dad's like, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it, it's great because he's do <laughs> he stops getting chased to play guitar in his dad's face, and then the guy finally catches him and does nothing. But then the dad's like, "I'll handle it from here." It's just like Homer Simpson strangling him. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. And meanwhile, Steak is saying shit like. So I also thought Steak was going to be like a mute kind of character, uh, dressed like a fucking mime. <laughs> And, but then he starts talking and he's like, the first thing he says is rock and roll forever. And you're like, what the fuck? So he runs away and then, and then the family take like all convenes in one area where they're all just like, I fucking want to bash that little shit's head in. Like another person's like, I will honestly kill myself if I see him again. It's honestly like the most brutal. It's like if somebody heard that about themselves, like it would be absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. Um, <laughs> it's so funny. And uh, so they they just despise them. And, and we, two of the lovely ladies decide to leave because they need to go get more wine because somebody forgot to buy the wine. Meanwhile, body by Jake. Um, he finds a fucking, he finds a uh, trailer park, like, down the road. Yeah. Um, and I believe he murders somebody, but it's not really explained. <laughs> right? Well, also, I want to ask you this. And, again, I might have missed a huge plot point two times in a row. Jake has no connection to this, does he? Like, to any of these people? Um. No, no. Why he does he no. show up here? And I mean, he has "Home Sweet Home" tattooed on his hand, so I figured he would, you know, like Michael Myers, be going back to where he came from. Yeah, no, but, he, he, he. No, he's he has no connection. I think this is strictly. This is <laughs> this is strictly. This is strictly just an accident. <laughs> that that was my that was my take too, which. Makes calling it home sweet home even funnier. It's not, <laughs> that's it's actually not going amazing. And, like, that's actually and, and for anyone that's like screaming at us or like screaming at, at the thing, if they made a connection, it was like a throwaway line because there's no people being like, oh, he's come home. Like, to me, he has no reason to be there and he has no connection to the ranch and none of these people have any connection to him. So. <laughs> no, no, there's no, yeah, there's nothing related to his home, which, he, and he fucking killed his fucking parents, so. That's right, that's right. So, <laughs> the fact that he even has Home Sweet Home tattooed on him is fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's fucking absolutely crazy, uh, but, you know, uh, hey, <laughs> hey, what can you do? Um. Yeah, so he he he's at this trailer park. He kills somebody, and we only know that because he's got a handful of rags, right? And there's it, there's no indication of what this is. I I assumed it was a head, I just because it was small and fit in his hands. <laughs> but it's just oh, a handful of bloody rags, and he's just like. Aah! And ultimately throws it. He sees these women leave and he realizes, you know, I'm going to go to that point of origin, right? Like there's, there's, there's something up there where these people are coming from. So he's going to go up there. He goes up there and immediately cuts the power to the house. Yep. So (laughs) again, like to your point, he, he, I guess he's just a killing machine. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, he's strung out on PCP. Like there's no way he even knows where he is. I love that they added the PCP element to this movie. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. Dude, if you if you go to the Wikipedia synopsis, like they sell the people sell it as a as if that's the major plot point. Oh, like, yeah. deranged PCP <laughs> <laughs> on a PCP binge, <laughs> dude. It's it, yeah, that's funny that you bring that up. Literally everything you read, it's the first line is oh, like on PCP. <laughs> <laughs> a killer. And it's like, PCP honestly has nothing to do with this. Has nothing to do with it. I mean, if you blinked, you would miss him doing that. And I don't even know if they explained that's what he was doing. <laughs> you just know he's putting something into his tongue. I always thought PCP was like a 
uh, fucking pill. No, you smoke it. Oh, oh, you know what? I didn't know that. Cause you, I didn't know that. Smoking PCP. Smoking PCP. I just want to see. Oh, the smoking PCP video. You know what? If some of our old high school friends were around, they would have this video for me immediately. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, he cuts the power, but don't worry. They have a generator. Um, I have this note. I wrote down this note about the generator because it, it's a three minute fucking scene of Harold starting the generator and, and just like an ominous shot of the generator by itself. So I was like, Oh, th- this must, <laughs> this must come back, um, to the movie, to the, this must be a plot point in the movie, but it's really not. So they honestly it comes, it, it, it comes back what did they lose power again wait 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 wait, wait. isn't that what does angel um <clears throat> mistaken oh is that what he uses to fucking fry mistake but i thought they already ran out of power because they were running out of gas oh yeah you might be right maybe he's, <laughs> oh wait maybe he shocks him with that backpack <laughs> Oh yeah, I well, think whatever that. he does, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh no, that was like one of the craziest fucking things. Uh, that was amazing. Um, so yeah, uh, body by J- oh yeah. So wait, where am I? Oh, so yeah, so generators, generators up. They've got three hours supposedly, and Harold decides he needs to go get more gas for the generator. So while he's out there, freaking Lou Fartrigno uh, shows <laughs> shows up just watching everyone, <laughs> um, and Harold finds <laughs> Harold finds. Can we, make, <laughs> can we make that merch? Just uh, Lou, body by Jake's stupid face and just have it say Lou Fartrigno. That's something I could easily make on my own, and I will do that. Lou Fartrigno. <laughs> Imagine wearing that in public. <laughs> Imagine wearing that to get it signed by Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> at a fucking cop. I would do it. I would, hey, I would do it in a second. Love your work. <laughs> can, can, you, can you sign this? Fucking body by Jake image. Wrong face <laughs> and a butchering his name. With Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> Please make it. Yeah, I, I'll give you the money for it. If you sell one... one one fucking shirt. I, I bet you it would probably be like it would probably outsell our recent merch. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. I don't care. Well, uh, listen, listeners, sound off. Do you want? Do you want to loop for no shirt? And also, of you b- don't. before you say no to that, before you say no to that, just Google "Body by Jake Home Sweet Home." Let's see if let's see if that because his face in this movie is so stupid the entire fucking time. I, dude, that's what I'm saying. Dude. I have never seen you know more troglodyte human being in my entire life. <laughs> so they should have used his, they should have used him in way more movies as a villain. Dude, absolutely his face and his oh, dude. Okay, yeah. So body by Jake, home sweet home. Google image it. And just look at the first three fucking images of his face. It's they're all they're all different faces, and they're not. I wouldn't even know which one to pick. It would be so hard to choose. <laughs> even one of him just doing like a regular face is fucking ridiculous looking. <laughs> but his his like death scene face is possibly the best one. He's got he's got a fucking corpse grinder neck. <laughs> Guy is unbelievable. Imagine he had an empire like back then of, of like this workout shit. <laughs> He's fucking covered in blood. Home sweet home. Um, so uh, Harold finds a car and decides to siphon gas from that. Uh, it, it is. It turns out to be body by Jake's car though. Um, and, and so he siphons the gas, which is all he needed. But then he's like, oh, because he uh, the first fucking 15 minutes of the movie all he talked about was how his car battery sucks um yeah. might have been joe's dad <laughs> might have been channeling joe's dad <laughs> just telling people that haven't asked about his car battery just, just oh god a fucking car battery fucking sucks <laughs> also well, dude well we we went to our anniversary dinner uh tonight so 
my parents watched the kids when I picked up my dad or when I picked them up when I picked up my kids I went into my house and my dad was like hey man I've been thinking about your light in your your dining room which there's no reason to think about that ever it's never been brought up to him and I was like yeah what about it he's like uh, I just hope to God the uh, the wires are good up there okay why the why wouldn't they be? What the fuck are you thinking about that? <laughs> <laughs> the wires aren't good. Now, this also, we should also mention that your dad, <laughs> your dad also has this issue where he kind of, um, how would I say this? He, he, like, without saying something, he'll be like, this is gonna, this is gonna cause an issue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like you were telling me about your roof, you got your roof done and he was like, (laughs) he was like, the roof's fucked. And you were like, like, then you revealed to me, he hadn't even been up there. He's never looked at the roof. Oh no, no, it wasn't the roof. It was the, it was the chimney. Oh yeah. The chimney, the chimney. chimney. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I had my, I had my chimney clean and they were like, uh, you need, uh, we recommend getting a cap, you know? I was like, well, is it necessary at this time? Like, no, of course not. But they're like, if you notice like animals are like water getting down, you might need a cap because they never put one on. And my dad's like, that's fucking bullshit. I need to go up there myself. (laughs) Why would you assume that? You never even looked at it. And he, he, he was convinced that they measured it wrong too. He's like, how, how big did they say it was? So I told him, he's like, that's not right. Like, you don't, I literally paid them to go up there and fucking measure it. Why, why wouldn't you just go up there if you're just going to disagree with everything? It's so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> so fucking ridiculous. Um, I love it. Uh, so yeah. So this guy, this guy's got the same problem. He's he's just talking about his fucking battery that that no one cares about. So he decides to steal this <laughs> the Jeep battery right from Jake's car. He tr- he decides to steal his battery. Um, so he's under the hood taking out the battery. And Lou Ferrigno, and this isn't the first time, or <laughs> Lou Ferrigno, it's not Lou Ferrigno, uh, Body by Jake flies out of the air and, Dude. like, big body splashes the fucking hood <laughs> of the car. Like, macho Man Randy Savage style. <laughs> <laughs> fucking killing him. Just fucking, just destroying his upper body in the fucking car. Uh, I love, dude, that. Love it. Could you imagine being under a car hood and having somebody as big as Jake do that to you? If that if that did not kill you, I I don't think there's anything more painful that could possibly happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I mean I, honestly, what a what a like unique kill too. I thought it was great. Oh, and and you know what? Fun fact: this isn't the last time Jake's gonna be flying out of fucking tr- <laughs> <laughs> flying out of fucking trees. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing this. It's so insane. <laughs> it's so insane. He just likes to have fun, man. He could have very easily just come up from behind and stabbed him. <laughs> Wanted to climb a tree. <laughs> fucking do an elbow drop. I fucking love it. Um, so that guy's dead. Harold's deader than a doornail. Uh then we get a scene after this where we kind of get a weird scene where they try to humanize Steak um, by him taking care of this little girl that I honestly hadn't remembered seeing until this moment. Um, he's just suddenly with this little girl and is like, don't worry, everything's going to be great, and which was just a very bizarre scene and like doing magic for her, like sli- slide, yeah. of, like, <laughs> like, slide of hand magic uh, for her. That must be his actual fucking thing, right? I feel like it is. Like I said, he's in that Wonder Woman episode in the same getup. Like, that must have been a shtick. <laughs> it absolutely had to be. Um, yeah, I got to plug in my computer. Okay. Um, I feel like he was really... Especially if he was doing it in Wonder Woman, he had to have been trying to get work this way. Ha- he had to have. But... <laughs> Honestly, yeah, because like, think about like, you, like everyone wants to like impress their parents. You know what I mean? Be like, I made it, and this guy's like <laughs> doing this <laughs> this bullshit. <laughs> Honestly, infuriating. Like, just embarrassing his whole family. <laughs> like, he couldn't just act like fucking normally. Um, 
which this is off topic, but I do, I, I don't know why I want to tell this because it's honestly the first time I heard about this. So this is like super off topic, but it's just, it's, it's the point of like an actor making a choice like in a movie. Right. So okay. John Candy was originally supposed to play Lewis in Ghostbusters okay. b- before Rick Moranis, which like I, I had heard that before, but I, I didn't know any details really about it. But today, I an article popped up, so I clicked it, and it was about that. And it was <laughs> talking about John, what John, <laughs> and I honestly don't, like, this is when I st- stopped believing shit on the internet. It was, <laughs> the article was about why John Candy fell through and they asked Rick Moranis. And supposedly, it was like John Candy had a vision for Lewis, and um, Harold Ramis was like, no, that's Okay. And the idea that John Candy, I I guess, felt so strongly about that he passed on the fucking movie was that Lewis should speak in a German accent and be surrounded by German shepherds the entire movie. <laughs> the entire movie. <laughs> Which, like, is the most absurd thing I've ever fucking heard in my life. Like, why, why the fuck is that a thing? Why, why would he demand such a thing? But then at the same time, like, maybe, right? People are fucking weird. That's great. <laughs> Most idiotic thing I've ever heard. You know who Slimer was uh, based off of, right? No. Fucking Belushi. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. I mean, that's is that? I feel like that's insulting. Was Belushi? A- <laughs> was, was Belushi alive? Yeah. Um, right? What? Ghostbusters 84, right? John Belushi. Yeah. I think he had passed. Yeah. Yeah, he died in 82. He died in 82. <laughs> and they were like, <laughs> in honor of our dear friend John Belushi. <laughs> Just eating hot dogs is perfect. <laughs> we're going we're, we're gonna to make the most disgusting creature and uh, name, uh, not even name him after him. We're just going to give him his hyg- hygiene habit. <laughs> And all these guys were his friends, too. And that's like every documentary you watch of b- both Belushi and Farley, it's always like, yeah, nobody appreciates me. They just like like laughing that I'm fat, like fall down and shove things in my face. And his <laughs> friends are like, let's immortalize him by uh, making Slimer fucking fart and eat hot dogs all day. Dude, for, for sure. For <laughs> sure. The most useless ghost in the movie. Uh, <laughs> he does He does nothing. <laughs> Except cause a mess. <laughs> He's not violent. He doesn't really do much of anything except just fucking sit around. Um, <laughs> fucking poor Belushi, man. <laughs> Did you ever watch his documentary? I, that's off topic. Yeah, but, it, was, it was good. It oh, was so good. fucking good, man. Fucking amazing. Um, anyway, Belushi Slimer. Anyway, that was all to say that, you know, <laughs> some of these people make decisions and it's not always the best decision. Indeed. <laughs> German shepherds. German shepherds. Um, so anyway, uh, ne- next up is the gambling addict who we haven't really discussed, but there's a gentleman in the house. Um, he is maybe dating this Spanish woman that's also in the house, but he is, he is for sure. Are you sure? Cause he's, she doesn't seem interested in him. Um, um, he, I mean, he introduced, he, he, he refers to her as girlfriend at one point. And the entire time steak is just like, I'm, I want to fuck her. <laughs> Dude, he's doing it in front of him. <laughs> he's sitting next to him. He's just like, Hey baby, play my guitar for you. But he, I love him because he's a degenerate gambler, much like Joe and myself. And he's, uh, <laughs> all Thanksgiving, he's just on the phone doing like his worst, like gambling speak. Just being like, well, what's the point spread of the game tonight? <laughs> yeah. Um, which, by the way, could you fucking imagine gambling like that? Fucking nightmare. Without like the uh, modern technology, yeah, having, having the call a bookie, yeah, yeah. It sucks. And like not knowing how much you owe. Oh my god, seems problematic. It does. <laughs> Um, well, he leaves because everyone's basically gone missing. The two girls went to go get wine. They're still not back yet. Harold went to go gas. He's get gas. He's not back yet. 
So this guy decides he's going to go find these people. Um, and then from here on out, the movie becomes almost unwatchable, not in terms of <laughs> of what's in the film, but just it is so like it, literally unwatchable. It, it, they started filming at night. It's honestly, I think they might have filmed it in order. Like they just started early in the morning and just started filming and then it got dark and they just did not have lights. So they just kept filming. <laughs> <laughs> uh because it's just naturally lit which you know at night um is not lit that's right that's what happens at, in the nighttime so uh he gets in the car and he's immediately killed by fucking body by jake who's in the back seat <laughs> With- dude that means jake went out cut the telephone line and then went back to the crime scene and just sat sat in the back of the car hoping somebody would come hey uh, that's this guy's fucking mo. The entire movie, the entire movie, dude. That the last scene meant he just sat in a tree the entire, <laughs> the entire night, <laughs> just waiting for somebody to come out from under him. <laughs> dude, he has these people at his disposal. They have no clue who he is. They have no clue he's out there, and he is watching their every move. And he's already cut the power and the telephone line, so. They're all dead to rights, and none of them can stop him. There's one. There's one road out. Like he, <laughs> <laughs> dude. So, so he is gambling so much on these people just moseying their way to his exact location, <laughs> and he's fucking high on PCP. So like, <laughs> that, people don't typically, you know, have the patience to just wait in trees when you. <laughs> no, when I, you're a PCP. You're kind of yeah. You're like running around tearing your own skin off. <laughs> You can't sit still at all. Like, you literally can't. Um, which is fucking amazing. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's that. So, Steak, of course, shows up at this moment and is like, now that the redneck is gone and the other two assholes haven't returned. By the way, those assholes are two women, so I don't know why he's saying that. Or, well, like, I don't even know who he's talking about, actually, because there's four people missing, but that's fine. Um and those other two assholes haven't returned yet. We can have a party. And uh, he begins, obviously, for the next, uh, for the entire rest of the movie, just trying to have sex with this woman who does not speak English. Um, and Steak is just honestly a fucking Ostagot piece of shit. <laughs> Straight up piece of shit. Oh, boy. We go back to our two leading ladies who I totally forgot were alive at this point. Um, they went to go get wine at the very beginning of the movie. And they're still fucking driving. They're still. <laughs> they went and got wine. They get pulled over uh, by the police, and it is a real time traffic stop. It was. It lasted so long, and the result was a warning, which is exactly how a traffic stop is. Dude, this traffic stop lasts like fucking forty five minutes somehow, and then the guy just comes back and is like, hey, "You're good this time," and that's exactly what happens here. They're just like, it's fucking insane. It's agonizing and they're like oh geez also fun fact the next time we'll see these women they're walking <laughs> yes they are which what, was there a scene of their car breaking down or no not that i'm aware dude, of dude i that... rewound it and didn't see it so i i do believe okay, okay. that to be true <laughs> <laughs> because okay i'm glad that you're you're, you're picking that up or mentioning that because <laughs> Why they're in, why they're walking, and why they're in that location, and why they think, like they're they don't they're not from this area. No. So they're walking, and then they see body by Jake, and they just automatically assume it's Wayne. Which, if you've seen Wayne, this guy is like four feet taller and like three times the size of him. Like, oh Wayne, you won't believe what's happened to him. It's like, why would you assume that? <laughs> Yeah, it's so well. It's funny because they're like Wayne, and he doesn't respond. He's just like, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, thank God, Wayne's here." <laughs> As if the growl was to say, "Yes, I, I'm Wayne." Like, like you, like people have like a basic sense of familiarity, right? So, like, even if you walk, you're walking in like the pitch dark. Like I was approaching you, and like you, you might like have that sense, right? But if you if somebody who was like a massive beast, like Jake, was approaching you, you would know. Like your fight or flight sense would trigger immediately. And then if he started making growling noises, 
you're just running the other way, not not continuing to walk towards them. And I bring that up because he is an eyesight of them. Like they're not like far away where like if you heard like a ruffle noise, you might guess it's somebody. But they they're looking at him. He's close enough to kill them, which he does. <laughs> <laughs> which is also weird because um, it r- prior to this scene, like directly prior to this scene, um, there's a lot of filler, but. Um, there's a POV shot of him watching the little girl who I believe his name is Angel. Is it Angel? Angel. Yeah. Yep. And, and he's like watching her and you think that he gets her because he's like right next to her. Right. He, he, and then it cuts and now he's out in the woods hang, <laughs> hanging out with these two. Bozos. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, the next time you see Angel, you see her legs sticking out from under a table. So. And they're all like, oh, my God. Even though they don't know anything wrong is happening, they're like, Jesus, Angel's dead. <laughs> Sean, one of them at first doesn't <laughs> – one of them at first is like, who is that? Like, it's the only little kid here. Like, fucking tiny-ass legs. Smallest legs I've ever seen. In, like, little girl dress-up shoes that you wear to, like, holidays. <laughs> is that fucking steak again? <laughs> Well, so he doesn't kill her. She's alive. But uh, when he encounters these two women, he does immediately body slam one onto a car, uh, causing her to roll off the car, <laughs> fall off, and bash her head into a rock, killing her Which instantly. The most slow motion head onto a rock I've ever seen. <laughs> one of the, the other girl manages to escape, though, with Jake uh, hot on her fucking heels. I think. I, I genuinely couldn't see a fucking thing, but I'm pretty sure that's what was <laughs> happening here <laughs> and then i also believe she runs into the body of her dead husband or boyfriend um, yeah who is yeah, like yeah. hanging in a tree or is it wayne whoever it was it, uh, yeah it could be yeah i guess that's true i don't know you could you cannot see them and everyone <laughs> is wearing the same like blue denim shirt with a mustache so it's they're all interchangeable um and you can't see anything so that's it. Um, anyway, she sees the the dead person, freaks out, and then Jake kills her with a broken bottle. A bottle. Yeah. She she's dead. So we really only have our two um two leads here, right? We got mistake. We got oh, mistake. Wayne's girlfriend, Maria. How do you know their names? This is fucking nuts. <laughs> this is absolutely fucking nuts. Okay, so we got Maria and Scott and Steak and Angel. And Angel, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we got four people left. Holy no, mackerel. No, Jennifer. Jennifer, not Maria. Or no. Oh, yeah, they're both. Maria, yeah. Maria's still alive. Maria's, Maria's still. the Spanish woman. Yeah. And then Jennifer's the the lead woman. Correct. Okay. Jesus criminy. It doesn't. Oh my God. It's fucking insane. Anyway. Um, so we got, we got a few people left. Um, <laughs> they, they're just ready to eat fucking Thanksgiving dinner. Um, Jake though is now in the house. Uh, he kills Maria or er, yes. Right. No, no, he, he yeah, he does. Yeah, she 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 goes to the bathroom, and no, no, it, wait. And Jake's there, and he he holds the knife to her neck. Yes, and but the snake comes in. Who's, <laughs> who's the dead woman in the bathtub? I I think it's the girl he just stabbed with the bottle. Oh, okay, okay. He brings okay. her back and dumps her in there. That was that was it. pretty good gore. Um, and probably the most gore we've seen. She's got like a mangled face. It's fucking yeah. gruesome. Yeah. Yes, and then he takes Maria hostage at knife point. Which with, with no reason to do that. He's just killing people. And yeah. idiot mistake sees it. <laughs> immediately. And his his immediately. I mean like he watches it happen. Yes. Um and then he's just like, whoa, man. And his <laughs> I love that his plea to him was that he would play a song for him on his uh, That was in fury. Jake's like, huh? <laughs> which which also what an idle threat by Jake because he says, make one sound and I'll kill her. Stake proceeds to just start rambling <laughs> and offering to play music and do magic and like like uh, it's fucking insane uh but Jake ultimately kills Maria here yeah yeah and then chases mistake yeah, he says my mother was no good like this which I don't know what that means <laughs> but stabs poor Maria in the fucking heart <laughs> 
Um, Jake, <laughs> then Stake, ru- Stake runs away, I guess, at this point, because the next yeah. time we'll see Stake, he's hiding somewhere. Uh, but Jake finds him and electrocutes him again, somehow unsure. But I think, I think we're onto something with the amp. I think it might be the amp or the, uh, yes. I'm pretty sure it is. It doesn't matter because you can't see anything. You, it's it's pitch fucking black. <laughs> the only thing you see here is like the things lighting up from the electricity, which is silly because I'm pretty sure they're just glow sticks. Um. Anyway, uh, that now leaves us with Scott and Jennifer and Angel is left. And Angel uh, is just missing as usual. She's just <laughs> not really in, in this. Uh, she's just gone again. Which so, again, I thought they were going to build it up for something more, but with Angel, yeah. Well, yeah. Wh- why even keep bringing her back into the fucking picture? I would have rather them done the uh, even if she was a character at the beginning, just do the old uh, what was that fucking movie uh, or that show? Um, Happy Days with the with the brother that went upstairs and never <laughs> just came, write him off. Yeah, <laughs> never came back. Never came back downstairs, said goodnight, and never filmed another scene ever again. Uh, Remember Happy Days was like our motivation for coming back to the It really was. It really was. Um, fucking Happy Days rocks. Well, that's because we, okay, yeah, we, we, we had a, we had a, philo- we had a theory that we could make fake Happy Days episodes based on our, like, hometown friend group. <laughs> And if you fu- you you just replace their names with like Happy Days character, and it instantly made like the funniest fucking joke of all time. <laughs> like <laughs> Potsy building a office. piss closet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ralph Malf building a piss closet in his backyard. <laughs> yeah, it would definitely be Ralph. Fonzie would be the the level headed one. <laughs> Fonzie hits it with his fucking hand. And it collapses at the end of the episode. <laughs> exactly what would happen. Yeah, they spend the whole episode convincing him that it's sturdy, like a legitimate functioning yeah. latrine. <laughs> he leads against it, it and it falls down. <laughs> Listen, I, nobody gets it. It's an inside joke, and it's still... I, I, dude, making those synopsis is the funniest shit. <laughs> and remember, uh, this is like... Even more of an inside, I guess, thing. So I don't know if this is even going to be funny. Do you remember I did a an Instagram story where I I <laughs> I, I recited a, a a happy day yeah, moment? Of course, that was I did. actually I, making dude, fun of somebody, and that person messaged I me. I got, dude. I got messaged for it. like I know you're up to this. Like, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> But the message was also like, I don't know, I can't be sure if he's talking about me, but I think he is. <laughs> well, dude, Most specific example I've ever heard. <laughs> it was it was very strictly a story that this person had done, and all I did was replace his name with Fonzie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking now I want to watch Happy Days. Um <laughs> uh, anyway, back at home sweet home. <laughs> uh the we have um Jennifer and Scott in the house, and, and Scott is just decided, you know, oh, they've decided that steak is the one murdering everyone. Um uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, they only see one body. Everyone else they just That's think is missing. They see they see Maria, and he's like, "Mistake is going off the deep end." Which honestly, Fair. the most reasonable conclusion yeah, for sure, dude. <laughs> for sure, Steak has been obsessed with this woman all the entire movie and playing songs. And the last time you see him, he's like trying to serenade her outside, right? So yeah. Honestly, that's not bad writing. <laughs> this movie is like not bad. I don't <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's the worst good movie I've I think I've ever seen. Like it like structurally it's not bad. I, I don't know how to say it. Like I don't think it's I, I, I completely agree. They just didn't have the funds, you know. <laughs> no. If somebody somebody in Hollywood like made it, 
it would it would have been successful. I think I think you're looking at like a um, Silent Night, Deadly Night equivalent if Hollywood made it, which is a good thing, right? Like like I think it would have done fine and become like a a watchable cult classic as it stands. I don't know if I'd watch it again. I, I definitely would, but like I would. I would. I, I'm not gonna rush to do it. I don't think. See, I, I'm the opposite. This is my second time, and now I like it even more. And I probably gonna watch it next next Thanksgiving. I think, yeah, I think as a annual Thanksgiving, I'm fine with it. I guess because there's not many. This is good. This is fun. This is fun. Um, so they think Steak did it, so they plan to go in the house to protect themselves. Scott then spends the next ten minutes just fucking wandering around in the dark looking for steak, I guess. Which I also loved. He's like, "There's three of us. We can fucking for sure fight steak." And hey, Scott, don't even sell yourself short. You can fight steak, even with a weapon. You could fucking kill steak. <laughs> fucking idiot. Angel could have fucking fought <laughs> for sure, absolutely. Um, but finally, Jake, big body by Jake strikes. He starts choking out Scott. Um, Jennifer comes in, tries to attack him with a poker, which does nothing. She ultimately grabs a knife and stabs him in the back, causing him to make one of the most deranged <laughs> sounds I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when uh, Mick Foley came on the scene in WWE as Mankind and he just like squealed like a fucking pig? Yes. It's yeah. very similar to that. It's very similar to that. <laughs> just hear JR in my head. Ear being like this deranged individual. <laughs> uh, well, she stabs him. Scott's about to get away, um, but Jake fucking grabs him through a broken window, smashes through a window, grabs him, and fucking just cuts his throat open. Yeah, did not see that coming. I thought Scott would be our f- final person. <laughs> oh, yeah, but instead we got a final girl, Jennifer. Good for her. Yep. Um. She's the final girl. Um, it's really hard to figure out what's happening here. It's very she dark. She passes out. She, she well, passes out. Yeah. They're, they're running around, but then she finds herself in a in a hidden area. But is that what she does? She, or does she faint or does she pretend to faint? No, she faints because she wakes up and it's morning time. That is the funniest fucking way to like... <laughs> <laughs> A fucking Pete killers on PCP and you just pass out like in a closet and he's just unable to find you is <laughs> fucking the most insane thing. He has hours. He has all night to find you. But she wakes up the next morning. The cops show up to the house. Um, She she gets <laughs> she, she, she she wakes up. She leaves the house very quietly. She she's She's almost free. She's outside the house. <laughs> and fucking big, d- big dumb Lou Fart Rigno <laughs> jumps out of a fucking tree. He's still waiting has- in a tree <laughs> all night long. <laughs> all he had to do was search the rooms. It, it could have been over hours ago. <laughs> He's been hanging out in a tree with a knife in his back still. <laughs> he still has the handle of the knife <laughs> protruding. Hanging out in a tree with a knife in your spine is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, man. But luckily, the cops are there. Uh, but unfortunately, the cops must have the smallest budget for ammunition ever. Because I've never seen cops so carefully and slowly fire three three shots like the, dude even the third shot the guy like clearly didn't want to even fire like he was probably like oh god the paperwork that's going to come from this third shot <laughs> good dude it's the slowest thing um but take some three shots and they they take out body by jake he's done he's shot it's a very long dramatic ending though he's like screaming and wailing standing up spitting blood everywhere spitting blood out. <laughs> fucking insane <laughs> the most dramatic death dude <laughs> oh and by the way remember that little girl angel that kind of like is around occasionally well yeah, yeah. <laughs> we she's just randomly in the police car and the cops are like oh yeah we found her at a fucking gas station down the road <laughs> <laughs> that's why the, girl that's why the cops showed up because she alerted them this poor fucking girl has no fucking <laughs> No parental supervision in this house. 18 adults. Not a single one could keep track of where this girl was. Uh, the cops called in. They saved the girls. 
Um, and I was expecting him to kill the police, uh, like wake up and kill the police, but he doesn't. He just, his eyes shoot open at the end. And, uh, that's the end of the movie, man. I shoot open. We, we never got the sequel we deserved. No, we'll never do it. No, no. And honestly, let's run this one back. Bring back Jake Steinfeld. Okay. Agreed. Agreed. Bring him back. Put him in it. And uh, yeah, I think we got ourselves a. Uh, I think we got ourselves a fucking flick, baby. <laughs> yeah, a, a Jake and Lou duo. We should bring them both back. They, oh, who there's would? No way they're busy. <laughs> who would Lou play? Lou would play steak. <laughs> <laughs> 78 year old steak <laughs> let's see how old Lou Frigno is Lou Frigno he's gotta be 70 70 god damn he was a fucking monster huh holy he was, he was. moly I saw him at a con uh, right before COVID hit he still, he still looks pretty big good for him yeah. Jesus juice to the goddamn gills you know what? Yeah. Can we just do like a cycle of steroids? <laughs> <laughs> you and me? Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's just see anything wrong with it. Let's give Jack it a whirl. Our, there's so thumbs. much there's so much healthier now, I feel like. I it's not like eighties <laughs> roids, you know what I mean? Like let's just get <laughs> after it. I don't know. Take this offline. <laughs> When people see us like blow up and we're like, no, <laughs> I have never done that in my life. Fighting people, <laughs> fighting people at cons, <laughs> fucking big Papa pump style going to fucking cons with our name on the, like, do not allow insights <laughs> <laughs> threatening Hulk Hogan's life, <laughs> threatening his wife at an airport bar. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, if that's what he did, right? He saw, he saw Hogan's ex. It wasn't even his wife. It was his ex-wife. Yeah, like, ex-wife I'm going to yeah. kill your ex. I'm going to kill your ex-husband. <laughs> he probably thought she'd be like, oh, yeah, thank God. <laughs> and instead she was like, uh, I'm for I'm sure going to police. police. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what happened. No, no, which goes back to our group of friends. <laughs> Tweeting so many terrible things oh about God. their ex and being like, I can't believe they blocked me. <laughs> Honestly, shocked. Shocked. <laughs> shocked that they were blocked. Oh, man. Home Sweet Home. What a fucking movie. I really enjoyed it. It was fun. It's good. It's, it's fun. fun. So next week, we got... Um, we got... Uh, we're going to do the Patreon for the thing. And then we're going to do a, a little winter... A little winter flick that I dug up here called The Children from 2008. Um Oh, I thought we were doing Scream. We're not. We're not doing that for December. Scream is the week after because to time it properly, Scream we have to start it December fourteenth. To time it with the release of the new one. Correct. Got it. Okay. We got our free live show coming up. Also, we have uh, the dorm that dripped blood uh, at three p.m. Uh, that's for our UK and European fans. And then we got not another teen movie at nine p.m. Uh, so make sure you head on over to IHateHorror.com and register for those live shows. You can do both. It doesn't need to be. If you're available at 3, do the 3 p.m. It's not restricted by your region. You could do both. You could do one. You could do the other. Wh- whatever one you want to watch. But those are the times just for the convenience factor for those uh, those regions. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. Indeed. Then we'll do the Scream movies. One, two, three, four, and five. Um, and then we're going to have a live show in January that I'm excited about. I'm excited. I've got two choices. I think I'm going to leave it up to, um, Patreon to vote on what movie we do. Um, the two movies are 13 ghosts or cherry falls. Have you ever seen cherry falls when it came out? It is one of the most idiotic things I've ever seen in my life. That's the the whole, the, my, my memory holds up then. It is absolutely fucking ridiculous. It's unbelievable. Un- unbelievable. So uh, it ca- that's kind of my favorite right now because there's so much to fucking talk about. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to be doing that. So make sure you head on over to IHateHorror.com and uh, register there. There's a link on there for the, the live show. Um, 
tickets. Merch is coming here in a couple weeks, hopefully, and uh, we'll be getting those out. And then whatever we have left will be on sale. So again, you know, keep your eyes to the sky or Instagram uh, and, and look out for that because we'll, we'll we'll be announcing when those drop all the extras and stuff. Um, and then I'll start working on our Lou Fart, Fart Rigno merch ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anything else? Do we have anything else to talk about? I don't think we do. Oh, good. What, what? a, what a is... early stop time. Ah, I know. We needed it. Holidays, baby. We got to take a break here. So, um, All right, guys. That's all I've got. Um, thanks to Joe for doing the show with me. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, Facebook.com slash I hate horror. I hate horror.com. Instagram.com slash I hate horror. Uh, you is that it? Twitter at I Hate Horror Show. You can follow us at all of those places. Joe, where can they find you? Uh, Instagram, Boognish1985. And that's it, guys. Thank you all so much. We appreciate you all so much. We're so thankful for you in the spirit of Thanksgiving. We're thankful for all of our fans. You guys are the best. Um, so appreciate all of you. And uh, that's it. And for Joe, this is Sean. Stay weird. Thank you. Adios. I wanna play. I'm gonna watch what I'm not supposed to watch. Fucking zombie getting sliced and diced.